Putin just sent a rocket that destroyed a Ukrainian hospital, leaving many casualties, including children buried under the rubble. President Zelensky has come out branding it a genocide, and he accused world leaders of being accomplices to terror. At the same time, Zelensky has just signed a law that effectively makes all civilians military combatants. Why this is an absolute disaster for the Ukrainian people that will result in massive casualties. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, today we're going to be talking about the Ukraine, and more specifically, President Zelensky. You see, I believe Zelensky is doing a lot of things that is putting a lot of innocent civilians at risk. It's big news right now that Russia has blown up a hospital. This is the narrative that the media is telling you. However, what the media is not telling you is that Ukrainian military are using hospitals, schools, and essentially places that should be for civilians to, to hide in as military bases. This has caused these places to become targets. In other words, Ukraine is using its citizens as human shields. But we're going to talk about that, folks, and more. But before we do, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for updates for future content, and if you like this video, share it with your family and friends and online. And now, a word from our sponsor. Introducing Webull. Webull is a trading app where you can buy and sell cryptocurrency and stocks. Join Webull today to get up to five free stocks worth anywhere from $27 to $9,600, my friends. It's basically free money. You also get a $5 cryptocurrency reward when you make your first crypto trade. Again, join Webull today, deposit some money, and you could get up to $9,000 in free stocks. One heck of a deal, folks. Sign up today by clicking the affiliate link down below. And we're back. Okay, let's just jump right in, folks. We've got a lot to go over. White House officials are warning that Russia could be using chemical weapons in the Ukraine, sparking fear and hysteria that big old bad Putin is trying to level the Ukraine to the ground. Now, I don't believe this narrative. I never really have. If you really look at who Russia is targeting, it's strictly military targets. And this is also why President Zelensky's actions are so concerning. Is Russia trying to blow up nuclear power plants? Are they going to launch a chemical weapon? I really do not believe either narrative. But you know what, don't take it from me. Listen to the following clip on Fox News. Do you think Putin will pull what I would call a Grozny? Grozny was the capital of, the, mm -hmm. um, of the, this uh, breakaway republic. He flattened it when the civilians resisted. Yes. You're gonna see this, I mean, is he gonna flatten yeah, he Ukraine? No, absolutely not. In fact, uh, he's worked hard to capture most of it uh, intact. Uh, surprisingly little damage, frankly, Stuart, much less damage than we inflicted on Iraq when we went into it either in 91 and again in 2003. Mm -hmm. Now, I think they're just surrounding the Ukrainian forces and they are annihilating them. And this is inevitable. Uh, and Mr. Zelensky, I think, is postponing the inevitable in the hopes that we are going to rescue him and we are not coming. President Biden has made that very clear. This is a Fox interview with Stuart Varney interviewing Douglas McGregor. I believe he's a colonel, so he served in the military, and he brings up a lot of good points, one of which is that Zelensky is, in fact, putting his own citizens at risk. Colonel, it sounds like you don't approve of Zelensky's stand. Oh, I think Zelensky is a puppet, uh, and he is putting huge numbers of his own population at unnecessary risk. Putting huge numbers of his own population at unnecessary risk. And uh, quite frankly, most of what comes out of Ukraine is debunked as lies within 24 to 48 hours. He's not a, a hero when he's standing up for himself and his own <laughs> people? You don't think he's a hero? No, I, I do not. I don't see anything heroic about the man. And he also points out that Zelensky is playing a very dangerous game. I want to take you back to the headline here. Here on the Daily Mail, it says, Putin sinks to another low. Russian rocket attack destroys maternity hospital in Maripol, leaving children buried under rubble. Zelensky brands it a genocide and accuses world leaders of being accomplices to terror. So let's put this in perspective, folks, because I, I really want to make this as clear and as simple as possible. Zelensky ordered his military to invade the civili civilian refugee centers. So hospitals, 
uh, schools, basically places that regular citizens and refugees would go to hide during a wartime. And he told the military to use these places as human shields. Maybe he thought that Russia would not blow up these schools and hospitals. But what is a hospital but a military target if you fill it with your military? And this is the missing part of the narrative that the media is not telling you. President Zelensky is putting his own citizens at risk. Take a look at the following. Here on Twitter with Russians with attitude. Zelensky has signed a law that allows all civilians to carry weapons of war and use them against Russian soldiers. Below it says, congrats on turning 20 million people into unlawful combatants, I guess. Exactly. 100% this person gets it. Zelensky literally handed out weapons to its own citizens saying, uh, take these guns and shoot Russians. Now there's a big problem with this. It turns out that many Ukrainian casualties were actually Ukrainians shooting Ukrainians because these people are not trained. They are civilians and civilians don't necessarily know how to be a soldier. They were shooting each other in hysteria and paranoia because they couldn't tell Russians from Ukrainians. So in Russia's perspective, these people are not just civilians, they're military. Ukraine has done a lot of things that I find questionable. And if you ask me, it's becoming really clear that Zelensky wants Western intervention. That's why he's trying to call, like, seriously, calling the world accomplices to terror because we won't go to your country to fight your war? Oh, I don't think so. Now, I have proof of this. Check this out, folks, here on Twitter with Disclose.tv. Pentagon. Transferring fighter jets from US custody to Ukraine is not explored right now, but sovereign nations can decide for themselves. So the other day, there was a story. Poland was offering its fighter jets, basically offering them to the Ukraine through the US. The idea was that Poland said, hey, United States, you can take our jets, give them upgrades, and if you feel like sending them to Ukraine, we won't complain. So Poland quickly backtracked on the statement saying that, oh, that's not what we really said and not what we really meant. And then the Pentagon came out saying, yeah, we're not gonna send the fighter jets to the Ukraine, probably because it would cause World War III. However, Zelensky has recently replied to this saying, this is about lives, send us planes. Zelensky tells Biden to broker deal for Ukraine to get Polish MiG-29s and stop playing ping pong as VP heads to Warsaw amid fears Putin could use nukes. So do you see what's happening? First, Poland says, hey, we're gonna give you these fighter jets. It could start World War III, but YOLO. Then Poland's like, oh wait, never mind. We're not gonna send those jets. And then the United States is like, no way, we're, we're, we can't send jets to the Ukraine. Yet you have Zelensky here saying, give me those Polish fighter jets. I think it's very clear. The Colonel was right. Zelensky wants Western intervention because the Ukraine is failing. It is falling despite arming its citizens, despite using its own civilians as human shields, putting its military in these hospitals where children are in shelters. People need to understand this. In wartime, there exists a thing called shelters. And in a shelter, you put your civilians. This is how they stay safe. And what Zelensky is doing is putting his military in these shelters with civilians. And then when Russia blows up those shelters, quote unquote, he says, look, Russia is committing genocide. Please, oh please, will the West intervene? It's disgusting. He's using his own people as sacrifices to push his political aims. It's not right. Now, with all of this being said, one of the most pressing issues right now is oil. Here on the Daily Mail, gas prices nudge to $8 a gallon in LA as drivers form huge lines outside of Costco gas stations nationwide. And average prices hit an all-time high of $4.25. Oil continues to skyrocket. It's already $8 in California. And uh, what is President Biden trying to do? He's trying to fix the oil problem, but he's failing. There's a, a, a story that came out. Biden called Saudi Arabia and, uh, you know, other countries with lots of oil, and they refused to take his phone call. They didn't care. They didn't care that Biden wanted more oil. You want to know the best part? Saudi Arabia took Putin's phone call. Oh, 
Lines are being drawn in the sand, my folks. So I don't know how Biden is going to fix oil. In fact, I think it's his fault. Who is the one who banned Russian oil imports? Who is the one that sanctioned uh, Russia? Who is the one that closed the Keystone Pipeline and destroyed America's energy independence? Biden. Democrats. They're the ones who screwed everything up. The U.S. right now is an embarrassment. Here on Twitter with Disclosed TV. New U.S. destroyer can't deploy because the commanding officer won't get a COVID vaccine. Navy says. <laughs> My friends, this is Biden's priority. We can't deploy a warship in the ocean because the captain won't get vaccinated for religious reasons. This is America right now. Meanwhile, Russia is taking the Ukraine. It's moving towards financial independence. It's talking about going back on the gold standard. America is crumbling. Russia looks like it's actually going to be better off in the long run. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know by commenting down below in the comment section. As always, support the channel by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar, as this channel is currently not monetized. It is supported by viewers like you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.